A large umbilical hernia, can that sometimes be misdiagnosed as a fallacy? I think a very large umbil uh, umbilical hernia may actually be a missed omphalocele, or what we refer to as a covered omphalocele, one in which the sac, which we just talked about, is actually covered by skin. Um, and there are, there are very small uh, omphalocele's, which we refer to as hernias of the cord, which look to a degree like a very large umbilical hernia. How would, would that be treated if it's a very large umbilical hernia? Well, basically in the way that most umbilical hernias are, are treated in, uh, in terms of operative closure of the, uh, the defect, of the fascial defect. And usually it's done between two, more likely toward four years for correction? Umbilical hernias are typically closed uh, closer to the age of five. Um, if the diagnosis of omphalocele is raised and it's a very large defect, then closure of this uh, is probably best performed at a younger age. If there was concern about a strangulation of the intestinal contents, how could someone know the difference when you feel it? A hernia, uh, such as an umbilical hernia or an inguinal hernia, uh, will frequently have intestines in it. Uh, the bowel should be easily reducible uh, when it does come in. If the bowel becomes quite firm or tender when palpated, this would be consistent with an incarcerated or strangulated hernia. If there's a, a, any concern of an incarcerated or strangulated hernia, someone should be calling the, the pediatrician or the surgeon involved right away, is that true? That's correct.